Um, yeah, it was alright actually. Managed to get away from the marina okay and managed to moor up on the customs dock. Yeah, that was a bit tight, wasn't it? Uh, it was very tight actually, but... Um, we thought we were going to reverse it and ended up going alongside a really small pontoon. With a big ferry coming in behind us, that was quite nice. We managed to get in really well actually, tied up and got off, did our paperwork, no problems at all, just 730 lira. What? That's just to leave Turkey. Well, it was our fault really because the engine died the other day as you know and it just meant it delayed everything so that cost us an agent's fee. But we're off now. Saying goodbye to Marmara, thank goodness. Lovely morning. It's a lovely place isn't it? Just don't want to be here for more than five days if you don't want to. So, to recap on today then. Well, we left um, Albatross Marina and we had to go to the customs um, little jetty thing. So we had to come out of the marina, which actually happened really well, didn't it? It did. We uh, we paid our dues, which um, 25 euros a night. Which not too bad, not considering too bad. we had water, electricity, toilets, showers, everything available to us, didn't we? Yeah, it was for three nights, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and then we set off to the... Um, Customs clearance, which was only a short journey, it was just 15 minutes and we were there. And then we ran into the customs <laughs> yeah. to get in before the uh, the people off the ferry. Apparently it would have taken an hour and a half to get them through. So so we did that and we did that fairly quickly. Um, came out, paid our dues to the uh, to the agent, which was quite a lot of money, 230 euros yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, which we hadn't expected, but uh, it was well worth it in the end, I suppose. We're out of Turkey now, so... We then set uh, set off towards this little bay that we're in so at the moment. We're on our way to Datcha tomorrow, aren't we? So today is just a, a stop because we travelled for about five hours, didn't we? we Sailed did. for quite a bit of it. We did really well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, 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 we sort of motored for a couple of hours, then we sailed for a couple of hours, and then we motored the rest of the way into the bay. So it wasn't too bad. We saved a bit of fuel. Um, engine, brilliant today. Didn't miss a beat, um, that, which is good news. Um, hopefully that'll stay like that. So we'll keep your fingers crossed on that one. Um, but here we are tonight. We've been for a little jaunt around on the uh, on the rib to have a look. There's nobody here apart from a few fishermen. Yeah, it's quite sweet up the other end. There's a restaurant which is closed for the season, but apparently quite a nice little restaurant, isn't it? Um, fishermen there fishing on the side of the the pier, um, and they've brought the fishing boats out for the evening. Um, so we're here. It's about six o'clock at night, and we're just about to have tea. Yep, we are. So early start tomorrow. Um, up early, crack of dawn, uh, and off to Dacha. So we'll catch you there. Looking forward to it. Morning. Morning. What time is it? I have no idea. Hang on. Seven a bloody clock in the bloody morning. That's what time Somebody it is. Somebody wanted an early start. Yeah, you can say that again. Six o'clock in the morning we were woken up. Oh, sorry. I was woken up. Somebody was already awake. It's the little bay we were in last night. Tucked in there. It's actually hard to see there is a little bay in there, but it's just... Who did we have a visit from last night? Yeah. Came to about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, I don't know what time it was. We just had tea, settled down. I was doing a bit of writing. Kevin was doing a bit of sorting out the route for tomorrow, today, or in other words. And then the Coast Guard boat turned up. We heard this engine start, blue flashing lights, and we thought, oh, blimey neck. And they decided to have tied themselves up to our little boat in the middle of this bay and uh, ask us a few questions, which was quite interesting. They just wanted to know where we were going and what our intentions were and could they see our papers. So, yeah, they got all that. No problem at all. Said goodbye and then off they went. It's a bit scary, but quite nice to know all the paperwork's in order. And they were obviously happy. 
That was good. That simmy in front of us. But we're not supposed to go into Greek waters, really. But we have checked out a turkey, so you never know. We might. Beautiful morning. What are you doing standing there? You're meant to be at the tiller. Get going. Oh, well, we've, we've got a third man. We've got an autopilot. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. So what are you doing up here? Well. What are you doing up here? Oh, raising the Greek flag in a minute. How's we going into Greek water? So we've got our Greek flag. Looking out for the Coast Guard. <laughs> I know. And this is Simi. So we're actually going into Greek waters by actually passing past Simi. We don't need to. We could actually go the long route round. But it does take us some extra mileage that we don't need. And as we're under the motor, there's no point in using more power. So we're just going to, in a minute, when we cross the line, we'll hoist the Greek flag, get rid of the Turkish flag for a bit, and then we'll reverse it a few minutes later. And that's it. Your electric cables on your foot. No, I'm not pulling you in now. So, Dave, what's that? What is she holding in your hand? It's the last banana ever on the boat, apparently. Why is that? 